just called your entire team together to start this fourth quarter. What was the message you delivered? You know, play, you got 15 minutes, man. Go put everything we have on the line. Uh, you know, we got we to gotta make sure we're playing smart. I mean, guys are playing hard, we're playing with passion. Runs we just got to make sure we're playing smart and not having any uh, foolish penalties. Five. Yeah, Neighbors just falls down here, and a good job of stepping up in front of that. I told you that battle would be going on all night long. Green wins this one. Neighbors slips, loses his footing. Ball just a little bit late out into the flat. I don't know if it's going to be a completion either way, but Green sees it all the way and comes up with that big turnover. I don't know how he avoided his knee touching the ground there, but somehow he did, I guess. We're in the fourth quarter now, up seven. These drives get more and more important. Drive recap brought to you by Camping World. And now the handoff to Benson who busts loose. They're beginning to get a little traction with the running game. See who wins this fourth quarter in the trenches. It's a different look, but still a two-back set. From the pistol, with that blocker on the right side. Benson this time has to escape and will fight back and lose only about three. Andre Sam from his safety position wouldn't have it at that time. Travis taken off, has blockers, and Jordan Travis skips out of bounds inside the 30. Travis on the move again, scanning downfield and fires across the middle. And that's Johnny Wilson making another first down catch. Travis from the pocket, long looping throw, and now man again. Keon Coleman has a hat trick in his first game with Florida State. Maybe except for Coach Prime. <laughs> yeah. <Florida State grad. laughs> right. I'm not to say. Yep. Drag down is Bradford. Gilbert Edmond, one of those reserves. You, just, you see it up front this offensive line. Emory Jones just, just unable to sustain that block. I don't know if he was expecting Mason. T Bad time for miscommunication from the guys up front. Second and 15. Daniels flushed. And he'll be dragged down at the 11, going backwards. Joshua Farmer made the play. The field, number 10 in the middle. Watch him move and flush Jaden Daniels. This whole game is about trying to keep Daniels in the pocket. And that time they're able to flush him with both the, to the left and then to the right. Long throw, catch by Thomas. He's got a long way to go, get nowhere near the marker, and out comes the punt team. Again, the two-back set that's been so effective getting the ground game going here in the second half and picking his way through his bench and, and just powering for a 12-yard gain into LSU territory. We said, like any quarterback, we said a running game. And it's exactly what Mike Norvell and his offensive staff have committed to. Travis has made the explosive plays. He and the receivers getting a lot of recognition. Keon Coleman. This has been months and months in the making of Jordan Travis and Keon Coleman putting in the work to have the chemistry. That's a good point, Holly. Here's Travis on the move, and he flips it wide open. Bell makes an impact play as a receiver, and Florida State may have just stuck the dagger in LSU. Get a productive player at South Carolina. They had a good season last year. You wonder why transfer? Well, he wants to be a part of this offense. And Jordan Travis. That they can get excited about. You saw the beginning of it last year and a continuation now this year. Daniels just trying to desperately create a big play to make a dent in this lead. Neighbors makes the catch and he's ushered out at the 37. People, even his own fans, question if he was the right guy. He just kept making changes to this point that they're, they are where they are now. Daniels escapes and scoops for a first down. He'll get out of bounds. Again, the clock will not stop. Time to push Will Campbell right into the quarterback. Ball comes out quickly in the long throw and a catch to Brian Thomas, who's shoved out of bounds. But again, the clock, fourth down and four. Daniels flips it across the middle. Catch made. No first down. Lacey. Stopped by Tatum Bethune, and the Knowles get yet another turnover on downs. At the Clemson Tigers, the nemesis, they've beaten them seven times in a row. Number four on the defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. That'll be the message. But with a three point halftime lead, just got completely out of hand. FSU more physical, just 
<laughs> banging around, bullying LSU here in the second half. He's been sitting over there on the sideline, and he's like, I'm not just coming out here to kill the clock. I'm going to lower my shoulder and knock some people around. What a run. It's random. 20 years, we haven't said Colorado on TV. Not in a good way. No. Travis weaving down. He's still running hard. Lowers the shoulder. They want to know. Down inside the five. It's first and goal. Yeah, they're still hungry to tackle on another touchdown. He's been a survivor. He got booed at home games early in his career. He volunteered to change positions. And they're around, banging into the end zone. And they tack on more. That's Jaheim Bell who scores as a runner after the touchdown catch earlier. And it's been a different game from that point on. 100 yards rushing in the second half alone. There's 24 Alexander kind of getting in the way. And Bell sending that message. It's been that kind of night, that kind of second half for the Seminoles. You're not supposed to go in against an LSU team and maul them physically. You're not supposed to face this team from Baton Rouge and just run over them. Go back to the adjustments at halftime when they were trailing in this game. 17.